Hello everybody and welcome to my basement. It is going to be a wonderful show for today. We're going to have an interview and we're also going to meet some of my friends. So I think we have a great thing planned for today. But let's uh, check out the intro first. So guys, wasn't that intro just great? I had one of my friends make the music, Danny Krastic, they will be in the link in the description down below. Uh, and I had another one of my friends draw the characters like me and Leopoldo and Brosif. They have an Instagram, so they'll be in the link in the description down below. And one of my friends who made the animation in the beginning, well, they don't really have anything I can link to, but they're probably watching, so thank you. And also, my dad made the logo for Zimmer's Basement. He actually spray-painted this. And, well, I, I helped, but he mostly did it. So, thank you, Dad. And now, let's meet Barosif. I think you're gonna like him. I'm a dude. You're a dude. Oh, we're all dudes, dude. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, bros. See you later, dudes. Now, wasn't Brosif just great? He made a TED Talk about how we're all dudes, and I think that is a great TED Talk right there. Maybe it should be called a said talk because, well, none of the people here are named Ted, yet the name of the show is Zamor's Basement, so Ted and Zay. A said talk. I think that could be great. Now, what? my cat's down there. I would, well, let you guys meet her, but she's mean. So uh, anyway, we have someone else I would like you to meet. So let me uh, go grab them. Well, everybody, I found Leopoldo after a long, long journey. So Leopoldo, come on in. Zaymore, did you just bring me here today to get me out of the library? I was reading a book, you stupid nitwit. I was reading this, and if you just brought me here to say hi to this camera, well then you just made my monocle fall off. Now I will say hi to your camera, your stupid puny camera. Hello camera, are you that stupid to be watching this? Apparently you are. Well, Zaymar, maybe you need a book instead. Catch. That was Leopoldo, everybody. Let's, uh, go meet Tiger Chapman on KNN News with his interview with DJ Osmus Prime. to KNN News, your casual news network, with your host, me, Tiger Chapman. I'm here with... Me? Yeah, yeah. Who Just is me? Prime. Here we go. We'll do that. That's going yeah, on, yeah, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So the first question is, why did you become a DJ? I know you probably get that question a lot. Uh, it's a good question, though. It's it, I know it's something that a lot of people are very curious about. So why did I become a DJ? Uh, the funny answer, I guess, it's not really like ha ha funny, but um, I've always been into music. I play a plethora of instruments and um, have always enjoyed creating music and have wanted to create more music for more people. And I was doing bands a lot. I was in a few bands when I was living in Colorado and uh, when I moved back east uh, to New Jersey trying to figure out uh, a way to form some other bands and stuff became a little bit difficult. So I really was kind of thinking to myself, well, what would be the easiest thing that I could do to kind of still be uh, a music performer and offer that to people and have a good time. So I decided to pick up being a DJ and it's proven to actually be a lot more fun than, than I was anticipating. I knew I was going to enjoy it. I just didn't realize how much I was going to enjoy it. So that's kind of the simple answer. I picked up DJing because 
trying to form a band with a bunch of people of like mind is kind of difficult. But if it's just you, it's a lot easier because you know exactly what you want and what you want to deliver. Yeah. So actually that leads me into a different question. What are like some of the instruments you play besides, I guess, I, I, me being Tiger Chapman, don't really know a bunch of things. So what are they called? Like the wicka whack things? So those. like the turntables, the actual DJ thing. So it de- that's it. It depends on, on, I guess, what kind of DJ you are as well, because a lot of us in the, the digital age, the actual DJ setup that we have, they're actually called a controller. It is a MIDI controller device that connects to a computer. Um, but then you do have your classic uh, vinyl turntables. There are also what's called CDJs, which are the same thing, but they run off of CDs instead. Huh. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of funny with the terminology um, for the DJ equipment there. Um so in the actual, like, the wheels, the platters, they're called yeah. jog, jog wheels. So that's the actual name of, of what those are called. Um, Interesting. But yeah, so that's as far as the DJ side of it. As far as other instruments that I play, um, I started out with clarinet. I did play clarinet and bass clarinet in uh, school. I did pick up saxophone for a little bit. Uh, tried my hand at oboe. Not really good oboe player. It's probably the one instrument that actually defeated me. Um <laughs> I play harmonica just a little bit. I do play guitar. I do play electric bass. I do play uh, the drums. Um, what else do I play? Tin whistle. I love uh, like Irish music. I really, really love Irish um, music. That's actually kind of a weird thing uh, about me. Besides the fact that I just love all music, that's one of my favorite genres. So I kind of picked up tin whistle just because I love the sound of it. And uh, that's probably the weirdest instrument that I know how to play. <laughs> yeah. So you said you played clarinet. So would you be Squidward? No, no. I, Squidward is a phenomenal player. Um, I I was really good in high school, but once I graduated, I kind of stopped playing. So if I was to pick it up now, I'd still be able to play it very well, but uh, I am definitely a little rusty. Uh, so if it was a me versus Squidward showdown, I have a feeling that, that uh, the squid himself would take me down. <laughs> so the next question is, um, it, it's probably obvious, but, and I know Zaymore's already asked this, but, um, where'd you get the name? The name. So, uh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out, um, kind of between two different DJ names and where Optimus Prime came from. Uh, I'm a very big fan of Transformers and Optimus Prime has been my favorite Transformer since I was a kid. Uh, him and, uh, Grimlock were my two favorites. So kind of being obsessed at that time and the movies that just came out the live actions so that was kind of just on my brain and i just kind of came up with awesomest prime and i know i'm not the only person that's used that because there are a few other people um that you can actually search for that are artists or that wanted a funny name for like their facebook or whatever so you know i'm not the first person to come up with it but i definitely am the only dj awesomest prime so if you look for DJ Awesomest Prime on pretty much anything, it's me. So I am the person that owns that. But the other name that I was actually going to pick was going to be DJ Uncle Cookie. I was going to kind of have this whole like Cookie Monster like theme thing when I was thinking about it uh, and asking some people like, you know, which one do you like better, which sounds, you know, cooler. And Awesomest Prime was kind of the resounding answer for a lot of people. So I decided to go with that. And it works out because I really like the name. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it. And I think it, it completely by accident, it really exemplifies who I am, what I do, um, not only as a DJ, but also as a person. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy that that's the name that I chose. And it, it's my name. It, it very much is my name. Now, where, where can we find you? Where can we... Like on social media? So the easy, I am on Facebook, I am on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Twitch. Twitch is the new one. I'm I'm building uh, a lot on Twitch. Everything is DJ Awesome is Prime. Um, I have a band camp now. I just actually set one of those up. So, because I am producing music um, now, it's something I wanted to do. And uh, this year kind of allowed me to be able to figure out how to make that happen. I've got the program and, and uh, messing around with it and playing around with that stuff. So I have produced a few things. I did produce um, a chicken wing uh, TikTok remix um, that I did post. I am on TikTok. I don't have a lot on there, but I am on TikTok. So if you really want to follow Could me. Can you send me that remix so we can show the viewers? Yeah, I can send you the remix. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's that's not a problem. That's actually really simple. Um, 
where else am I? SoundCloud, MixCloud, uh, and Discord, if that counts. <laughs> yes, that, that, yeah. I'll, I'll link all of those in the description. You have a link tree, right? Yes, absolutely. I have a link all tree. All right, I will put that in the description. Now, what are your favorite, like, songs to, like, mix and DJ with? Uh, okay, so, man, that's, that's, a, that's a tough question. So, mostly what I do is I do DJ with video game and, like, anime remixes. A lot of uh, EDM-style remixes from dubstep, rhythm, to trap, to uh, dance, to dance hall, to um, house, all kinds of genres. I can keep going. Um, so, that's kind of, like, my favorite area to DJ. I have the most fun there just because I am a big nerd and I really enjoy those things. And it's really cool to kind of put those things together together. Um, musically and deliver them to people and i really like that as far as like favorite song to dj like if i had to pinpoint um oh man uh i'm trying to think i just because i just I actually just got done djing this weekend for uh for the ecgx stream and i'm trying to think like what was the song like what songs that i have to um you know what i, I do have a favorite right now for right now until it changes so um i don't know if you're familiar with the genre jersey club or baltimore club music it's very not, not really no it's kind of a niche style of genre it's very um like drum heavy so it, it focuses on this specific type of beat all of them have the same um basic beat and it's meant to just make you dance it's real quick fire it's real fast and the songs aren't very long um, right, i got some dance moves you want to see let me see yeah let me see let me see there you go. <laughs> that's I'm sure Zemo cool. can do a lot better, though. Yeah. Let's be honest. That's he he cool. came up with a dance when he was in a wee little boy in school. He came up with a dance. Mm -hmm. It's tagged the life alert. Because <laughs> it looks like someone needs help. It looks like someone needs help. I like that. That's funny. I may have to. I may have to borrow that when I'm on stage next. <laughs> um, but yeah, to I guess to answer the question. So there is a song, a Jersey Club song, uh, that is a Dig Dug remix from the classic Dig Dug game. Um, a fan of mine that I met at Zenkai Con suggested it to me and requested that I play it. And I didn't even know that there was a whole world of other like nerdy music in this genre that existed. It's not a lot, uh, which is why I've been producing a lot of it myself. Um, so that particular song I think is one of my favorites because I typically tend to always kick off my Jersey Club like segment in my DJ sets with that song just because it's a good setup and it's a really, really good segue. So what is your favorite video game music? All right, so... And favorite video game. My favorite video game series of all time is Metal Gear Solid. Um out of that particular series, I think my favorite one still to this date is probably the fourth one. It was the third one, Snake Eater, for the longest time, and the fourth one came out. And the reason I love the fourth one is because we get to revisit Shadow Moses, which is the setting for the first game. Um, and you actually get to pilot the Metal Gear that is the big bad guy that you fight from the first game. So that that moment was the coolest for me. Plus, it makes sense. I you know, am the Mech Warrior DJ. I love mecha anime. I love giant robots. I love giant monsters, the kaiju. Like, I love Godzilla. And, like, so, like, Pacific Rim was, like, a dream come true for me as, as a movie. So, yeah, that's why that one's my favorite. Favorite, like, music from a video favorite, game? Favorite, uh, favorite music from a video game? Um, you know, what's funny. I just had an answer to this question the other day, and I forget what it – oh, what was it? I can't believe I'm forgetting. Um – trying to think like there was something that i was i was just playing this game and i was i was vibing um oh it's uh it's uh it's um streets of rage streets of rage probably has my favorite soundtrack uh the first one the second one and the fourth one the third one um is kind of i'm iffy on but yeah the fourth one the the soundtrack to that is is epic cool cool so Hmm. See, Zaymer only wrote like a few questions. All right. But, you know, 
One other question, right? Zamor will be very mad at me. Do the life alert. Do the life alert? I can't stand up because because of, of my space. <laughs> I can do it. Let me see it. Because it was just you just went. Uh, uh, uh. I like that. <laughs> it's almost it's almost reminiscent of like the um, the the what is it thriller the Michael Jackson but it's claws for them that this is kind of just the just the there's hands just hands. Yeah, I like that. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on Canon News. Your Casual News Network. Absolutely. I'm Tiger Chapman. Peace out. Well, guys, wasn't that interview great? I want to give a big thanks to DJ Osmos Prime real quick. Thank you for joining me today and next episode, because he will be joining us next episode, which I think is great. So, yeah, I guess I'm mad at Tiger Chapman. To be honest, he's a good friend. He's a good friend with a wonderful, wonderful mustache. But he really didn't need to show the life alert, especially to DJ Osmos Prime. I mean, come on. That's like, I did this in fifth grade. Come on. Like, come on. But anyway, that's all okay. Because Prime seemed to liked it. Uh, so it was all okay. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.